it was heralded as a way for people who cannot get status as an institutional investor or as an accredited investor to own these private companies. Because normally there's a $2 million or an annual salary of $300,000 benchmark that you have to meet to, to own these private companies. Well, DXYZ is a closed in fund. So it holds a certain amount of the companies and that amount doesn't really float. They hold a certain amount and there's a net asset value. So technically it's worth a certain amount and that value that it's worth doesn't really change. So what you're, what you're buying is a set value, but unfortunately the price of the ETF can go way up. That leads to a situation where it's trading way above NAV, it's trading way above net asset value. And apparently Fidelity and Robinhood didn't like this. Fidelity and Robinhood felt like their users were paying way more for an ETF than it was actually worth. The best comparison would be Bitcoin. So Bitcoin right now is at $60,300. So if if all of a sudden you bought an ETF that valued Bitcoin at $100,000, you're paying like 40% too much for the Bitcoin technically. Well, with DXYZ, that was even more pronounced and people were paying way too much, like three times, four times, five times too much, maybe even 90% too much at one point for these private company shares that DXYZ holds. So essentially Fidelity and Robinhood delisted it. And I went to Robinhood all of a sudden and I found that I just couldn't buy any. It said you can sell, but you can't buy. And guess what? When you can sell, when everyone can sell, but they can't buy, there's only one direction it's gonna go from that point. And I'm sure there are some people who have different trading platforms who still could buy, but this was targeted towards retail and retail is on Robinhood. So when you when retail can't buy the ETF anymore, obviously that's that's kind of not accomplishing the mission of the, the ETF. So it's been down only since then. I, I went to Reddit and I saw one Reddit user had emailed Robinhood and asked, you know, what's the deal here? Why can't we buy this? And Robinhood essentially responded and said, we have the right to list or delist whatever we want. So yeah, DXYZ has been nuked. Now there are other ways to own private companies, even if you're a smaller investor. There's an app called Titan, and Titan allows you to buy mutual funds. There is an ARK Venture Fund, which holds some OpenAI, SpaceX, and all these other things. But really Hive is the best way. So if, if you want to own a private company, Hive is probably the best way, but once again, you're gonna have to have larger amounts of capital, like probably in the in the many thousands, maybe 50,000, 100,000 before you can buy a little piece of these uh, private companies. <laughs>